and another one. Look at that skunk in the sky. Look at that. It's not as cute as a skunk though. No bushy tail. <laughs> if it was as cute as a skunk, would you would you not mind so much? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't even care. I mean, I, I know that I'm filming it, but I, I'm just laughing about it because it's like, whatever, you know, chemicals. <laughs> Doesn't matter, right? A lot of people don't care. They really don't. Like, they'll be so quick to rationalize something terrible or believe whatever they're told about it. Because as long as the term conspiracy theorist exists, people can always just like use that as a weapon, you know? That's why the CIA invented that term, okay? So if you dare to question anything The rest of society can just write you off as a lunatic and they don't want to be associated with a lunatic it doesn't matter how correct that lunatic might happen to be and I think that that's why I'm like open and honest about schizophrenia because people are already going to make that accusation anyway so I'll just make it for them you know I'll just accuse myself of having schizophrenia I mean obviously right who still has a flip phone that's ridiculous a person that values liberty and freedom I was thinking about this. If you apply the libertarian philosophy on an individual level, it makes sense. But if you apply it on a universal level, it's terrible and immoral. So it's really just the application of these political philosophies. You know? Like music. When it comes to music, you should totally be a liberal. You should be really, really open-minded. But when it comes to things like marriage, no. Sex? No. <laughs> Stuff that you do to your body? No. And it's good to be conservative when it comes to, you know, how you spend your money. It's good to be conservative when it comes to, um... the type of like investments that you're willing to make, not necessarily financial investments, but you know, mental and emotional investments, that's good. But you know, when it comes to like how much you go to church, like don't be conservative about that. It'd be a liberal, be a liberal. Um, Cause like I seriously cannot get enough holy water like, I'm, I'm going to drink so much of this that I pass out. You know, it's going to be just like vodka. Um, so, yeah, I have like three bottles of this. And I'm not the only one because I see people loading up on it. Like, I drank, I drank this entire thing. 
in church today. And I know that if an outsider had seen me at Divine Liturgy, they would have assumed that I was in a state of psychosis because I could not stop crying. And like I've said before, you cannot cry and sing at the same time. It's impossible. But I was just so moved. So, like, don't be a conservative when it comes to your thoughts and feelings, you know? Like, liberals are really conservative when it comes to thoughts. Like, they don't think. So they're very, very conservative. <laughs> They're conservative when it comes to like reading books and things like that. You know, that count is very low. If you can even count at all. But if you look at their music collection, it's tip top. Like if you saw how many CDs I have, you just assume I was a liberal. Especially considering like how many communists have inspired me like Joe Strummer. But I think it's really hard to find a person like me wandering the streets, you know, cuz <laughs> most people that she meet are like pretty typical. I actually had a, a conversation with this uh, woman that owns a sushi bar up the street from me. She's Chinese. And she was like, you're the smartest American I ever met. because I know what actual freedom is. I mean, you have so many people in this country convinced that in order to maintain whatever freedom we're lied to about, we had to bomb the shit out of Iraq, okay? Like, they really believed that. that's pretty messed up that in order for us to go over there and do something that was totally immoral and unnecessary they had to you know destroy like 3,000 American lives you know like how could you support a country like that why, why would you ever justify anything that this government does. So, like, you know, when all this COVID stuff happened, it was like, I mean, they did 9 11, so why wouldn't, why wouldn't they pur purposely put a virus out into the world that is actually the result of technology? That people still continue to use on a day to day basis, whether or not they got jabbed or not. You know, like, see, I don't focus on conspiracies anymore. Like I told y'all, like my priest has ordered that I not do that anymore because he said it's like porn for me. It is, it is. But oddly enough, I'm not coming because I'm right about everything. 